our children as if they were their own. That's what they're paid to do. That's what they're licensed to do. Police say a two-year-old wandered out of a daycare center and into traffic. How did that happen? Why was nobody watching him? I got to tell you, as a parent, that is a frightening thought. But one Tucson mom wants answers after she says she lived that nightmare. Here's not on your sides, Aaron Brackett. They were in the back playing in the playground. Him and t another two-year-old escaped through the back and went through the alley. Um, they walked. I'm not. I don't even know how much they walked. But I tried Googling it to see how far it was, and it was close to a mile. Last Thursday, Leticia Echeverria's two-year-old boy, Dominic, walked right out of the mini school learning center. According to Echeverria, her son was gone for more than an hour. In that time, the boy was found. Police were called, and officers in turn called the boy's mom while taking the child back to daycare. Turns out when they got to the daycare, the daycare didn't even know the kids were missing until they showed up. Nine on your side went to mini school to get some answers. Okay, got nine. Uh, would you be able to talk to us at all? Okay, on channel nine. But the children and staff quickly rushed inside, and we were left knocking on a locked front door. Angel Hesseltine of many schools' corporate office in Phoenix wouldn't answer specific questions about the incident, but says they are working to fix the problem. We are thankful the children are safe and extremely grateful for the Tucson police. We are currently investigating the incident and have put changes in place to prevent this from occurring again. Despite Hesseltine saying changes have been made at the daycare, parent Barbie Koshler says she didn't even hear about the lost child until we told her. I've known Ms. Tina, the head director, for 15 years. So now I'm going to have to ask why. I can very told not on your side upon hearing the news last Thursday. She talked to police as well as filing a report with Child Protective Services. Live in the newsroom tonight, Aaron Brackett, KIGA 9 on your side. Aaron, was there any kind of issue as far as possible overcrowding at the daycare? Were there too many kids there? Well, Jennifer, we ran the numbers about that, and the facility is licensed to care for 78 children. According to many school corporate, the Tucson facility was looking after just 50 children last Thursday. Aaron. Thank you. Now we looked at